And so I'm you know, very pleased uh, with our thought leadership table panel. And uh, so ask some questions. And we're going to go ahead and get started. So if you all wouldn't mind uh, just giving me your name and your company and an interesting fact about you. I'm Christy Rechtenwald. I'm with UPMC Health Plan. And I was nominated for a call center um, agent. Congratulations, by Thank the way. You. Hi, I'm Pat Rogers. I'm UPMC Health Plan, and an interesting fact about me is I've been in the call center world for about uh, 800 years. <laughs> <laughs> That's one less than me. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. Hi, I'm Jerry Barber, uh, Deloitte Services. One interesting fact about me, even though this is my passion and this is my career, I was a rock and roll drummer in the 60s and just love that as well. Oh, good. My name is John Wall, I'm with Lance Networks, and uh, I'm back to Seattle after 20 years when I originally lived here, so I'm glad to be back in town and see what's going on. Hi, I'm Darren Prime with Connect First out of Boulder, Colorado. Uh, so what's unique about me, I guess my great-great-cousin was Jesse James the Outlaw. I, I would call that an interesting <laughs> fact. All right, so we've got some award winners up here uh, and some award-worthy individuals with us uh, this, this morning. So why don't we tackle this a little bit from the agent perspective, since you know we do have uh, an agent who was nominated for Agent of the Year. So from Christy, from your perspective, what's still lacking you know, in the contact center? You know, what do you as an agent still need to do your job a little bit better? I have to think this one out for a second. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, why don't we get back from, let's look at the technology side. What are you doing on the technology side to provide a better agent experience? I think one thing Glance Networks is throwing out is uh, adding video to the experience so that you can see the agent. Um, another is screen sharing technology so that um, if your customer is stuck on a web page, the, the ability for the agent to see that page instead of having to wait for the customer to explain it, those kind of uh, tools are very helpful. Very good. I'll say it, for Connect First, what we've done is created a super intuitive agent interface. So they're able to focus on making that sale or uh, going about their business uh, without having to get caught up in, uh, in difficult technology. They're able to basically roll through their script, everything pops up, the audio, the script, so they're able to focus on their job and, and not get stuck and mired down with difficult technology. I think one of the experiences we had at UPMC Health Plan is we've added chat technology. And we have found that that has been a very significant, very important, very contemporary m method of communication. And did you have to add chat in because your customer is changing? Absolutely. We're always looking to see what we can do to interact with our customers to be the best we can be, to reach them at whatever level that we need to reach them. And going forward, we're going to be adding text to our, um, to our call center as well, and that should be happening in the next few weeks. So at Deloitte, we're taking that one step further, and what we're doing is developing technology and software to be able to place our agents at the right place at the right time to give them variety in their work every day. So whether it's time to take chats for half a day or phone calls for the other half a day, we can do that for them to give them that variety. And that's what they've asked for, and I think it makes for a greater agent and a greater opportunity to try different things in their meeting. And are you, is that a practice right now that you're seeing inside the context? Yes, it is. And how does that increase morale from an agent perspective? I mean, the more technology you get, the better that you can handle your calls and the more satisfied the member is. And that's the whole goal of customer service is that that member is satisfied with any social media that, 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 that's out there, that you should be, have access to that so that anybody who tweets or Facebook, you have access to all of that. It's no longer just the phones. And with our customer changing and our world essentially getting a little bit smaller, uh, how is you know how do we need to be leveraging technology to better handle the multilingual customer or the fact that you know oftentimes customers are now in other parts of the world speaking a different language, having different customs that might not be the same as you know the agent that's assisting them. I'll just say with a cloud-based system, agents, your agents are virtual agents, so it doesn't really matter where they are in the world. It doesn't matter if they're in multiple centers or if they're working from home or what country they're in for that matter. 
So you're able to take and easily manage agents all around the world, regardless of whether they're in brick and mortar call centers or working from home, which kind of simplifies the ability to have you know, agents anywhere. I think at UPMC Health Plan, one of the things that we're looking at also is while we are a regional corporation, um, we are more centralized, we are looking at um, our bilingual um, representatives. We're, we're really trying to establish a very strong bilingual group of people that can support any language or any anything that may come you know, into our call center as well. So at Deloitte, we have a great team in India that represent our, our organization and they deal with all international type uh, organizations and such. So we've built what we call a communications gym. So we both hire on a high standard of communications, but we also then continually train and train them up. They can go to the communications gym, obviously scheduled time to do that and work on Americanizing themselves, great. Uh, UK uh, and, and whatever we want them to do, and that's been very successful for our language skills. That's good. Deloitte. Very interesting. So at Deloitte, what are you seeing from a high level as the next thing that our contact centers need to be paying attention to? Yeah, you know, because we have so many different channels and we can silo it and not be productive and also not give our people an opportunity but you've got to find the ways to bring that technology together with the people to deliver the right contact at the right time to the right agent. And certainly cloud is assisting with that. You know, cloud has actually really changed and made things a heck of a lot easier than the premise solutions we were all tied down with before. So when you're explaining to a, you know, to a potential customer of that one investment that they should make, what is it? Well, you know, investing in, in, in infrastructure that's scalable and that's agile and flexible and that allows them to do whatever they're going to be doing in the future, whether it be moving to or, or complementing their exist, existing infrastructure with work at home agents, uh, that allows them to scale up and scale down, and then also has that built-in disaster recovery so that if something should happen in one location, they're not out of business, they're not down, we're able to make a few modifications so that they're able to have agents on a different device or agents log in from home or from uh, alternate center. Um, I would say that's what's, what's important with cloud. Are we able to do five-year plans any longer in the contact center? <laughs> no, no such thing. Technology changes in two and a half to three years, and so you've got to take that broad look at it. Uh, when you're trying to evaluate where you want to go. I would never think about looking five years out at this particular point. It's just changing too rapidly. I agree, we would never want to consider doing that. We need to be really on top of it. So when you're putting your plans together inside your centers, how far out are you looking? Well, we go out probably about a year because we feel that's about as far as we can stretch it. But um, sometimes we go out um, a little less time than that because, you know, the culture and the age and, and all the different um, people's needs are changing so rapidly. Um, and I think that sometimes we have to keep changing our roles and changing our direction and meet all the time because of the fact that we are, you know, always looking at, the, uh, at our membership and what they need from us. Any last parting thoughts before we wrap up today? I think one thing on the transition to look for is mobile. I mean, everybody's got it on their on their mind all the time. But you know, as smartphones finally outpace laptops and home computers, um, adding that to your technology mix yes. is also critical. Make sure that all the web-based tools you're looking at are compatible on the mobile front, and that you can handle you know inbound text. Your browsers are safe for mobile. All that, uh, all those extra headaches. And mobile, again, is a piece of technology that we truly don't know where it's headed yet. No. You know, we have an idea of what, you know, the next year or two is going to bring, but certainly, you know, it's advancing faster and, you know, our customers are using it in ways we weren't expecting them to ever do so. So lots of exciting things ahead of us. I actually want to pick up on a question that you asked the last group. I'm sorry, Absolutely. but this is about leadership. Yes, bring it. And that's on what do agents need. Now, I don't profess to be an agent, but what I have found in the 30 years of, of managing and leading agents is respect. That's what they want. They want respect. So what does that mean? That means tell them about the great compliments that they get from the customers that they serve. When they hear those and they see those, it's the validation they need. They want empowerment. Give them the ability to serve that customer better. Give them the ability to take the extra time with that customer. 
And then certainly, last but not least, they need great access, access to information on a quick, on a it's quick level. True. And that makes for a successful agent. Everything else is secondary, in my opinion. If I could just add one more thing, one of the things that we've also changed with metrics is we are no longer even thinking or looking or talking about talk time. <laughs> because we feel that talk time is not a satisfier to our membership. So we're very, very focused on getting it done the right way, the first way, and to validate, as you mentioned, and also to show the respectfulness to our membership and our representatives. So talk time is no longer part of our agenda or average handling time or any of those factors anymore. We feel that we've, we, we feel that's not necessary anymore. And honestly, I wish I had about another hour to just devote specifically to that piece of conversation because I'm wholeheartedly in agreement yeah. and uh, we certainly appreciate that. And I appreciate you know, all of your time today at the Thought Leadership Table and you know, thank you to our technology representatives and certainly to our award winners uh, you. over here on the right. Congratulations thank to everybody you. and thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.